everybody. Are you all having a good day? I'm just going to wait for some of you to join. I have a box. It is really heavy. I'm just opening it now. Oh, heck. I had to carry this up three flights of stairs. It is very, very heavy. Probably should have opened it before, right? <laughs> oh. Okie dokie. Who's here? Who have we got? Oh, thanks. I've been to the hairdresser. She can't see. Um, but I've got like a dark and my, my room's really dark. Um, but it's purple at the ends. I'll, show, I'll put some pics on. And I just picked up the bow out of my room because I've got a bow obsession and I thought I'll keep my hair out of my face while I'm unboxing. So I'm going to try my very, very best to lift this box. <laughs> if I break a nail, I might cry. Can you see that? It is oh, heavy. It is the born and bread box. Now I'm going to have to keep it on the bed behind me so that I can obviously unbox it and move things as and when I'm getting them out of the box. Okay. You might need those scissors back. I've just noticed some other things that need. It is born and bred box. It is, I know it's huge. Uh, I have bought this one, but I got it on a special offer. It was 50% off. I'll post the code in the bottom at the end. Um, so it costs me £19.50. Now I'm always looking for new boxes, part of what we do, as you know. And I come across this one and I thought, oh, I'll buy this one. It's a bit like... Can I mention brands? Yeah, I suppose I can. Gusto, HelloFresh. Anybody that likes the food boxes? Now, oh, you're me. <laughs> okay, so we've got the itinerary there of what's in the box. Don't need to see that bit. I know what I chose. Okay, let's go with this. It's got my name on it. Let's have a look. Anyone that likes cooking is going to like this. Let's have a look. Hi, Melanie. Thank you for ordering a recipe box. Our customer gift this month is a box of Taylor's of Harrogate Yorkshire Gold Tea. You wait till Rob sees that. <laughs> Rob, my other half, is from Yorkshire. I don't know if you, I've mentioned it before. I obviously do mention him quite a bit. His favourite tea is Yorkshire tea. He does not drink any other as he calls it, peasant tea. He only drinks Yorkshire tea. Um, he's going to be dead happy with that. Anyway, I've digressed. A blend of three leaf origins from the top 10 tea gardens in the world, blended in Harrogate to make a rich, smooth and incredibly satisfying brew. You can find more about the Yorkshire-based family business on their website, Tales of Harrogate. This month, our ingredients comes from over 25 Yorkshire suppliers. Farmers, growers and producers all working hard to produce premium quality artisan food and drink for you to save and enjoy. You can find out more about our suppliers on our website www.wearebornandbread.co.uk We're always adding more suppliers to the website so it's worth popping back in every now and again to see what's new. Have you visited our online deli yet? You can order items by themselves for the perfect gift or treat for yourself. We call this with love from Yorkshire. Happy cooking, Charles and Jeff. Now, Charles and Jeff, I don't do cooking. I have to confess, I cannot cook. The girls know this. Um, my best friend knows this. I'm quite famous for the fact that the only time I've ever tried to cook a meal, I actually set a kitchen on fire. Yep, that's true. Stick to my beauty boxes. However, I'm very lucky to have a man who I live with, 
who absolutely loves cooking. So we often look for these boxes because then obviously Rob can do what he do is, does best, get himself in the kitchen and uh, make a mess. So I have got three menus on here, right? These are the menu choices for the next box, which is really good because it shows you what's coming up. I'm just going to have a quick gander, see what's on there. Ooh, there's some lovely stuff on there. Oh, I could eat that. Smoked bacon and leek pie. Definitely me, anything with bacon in. Oh, God. I'll do a cope. Food. I proper love food. Uh, <laughs> you said spaghetti on fire. I. It was my dad's house. <laughs> it wasn't even my house. Oh, dear. We do still get on. <laughs> Um, but yes, I did set it on fire. Okay. <laughs> um, venison sausage casserole is the first one that we chose. Uh, <laughs> I'm laughing at myself setting my dad's kitchen on fire. How bad am I? So it has got venison sausages, large potatoes, garlic, red onion, rosemary, tomatoes, red wine, beef gravy, apple. Oh, there's loads, loads in it. Oh God, this one looks really good. What we're going to have tonight. The next one is bavette steak with apple liqueur peppercorn sauce. The cards are really good actually. Oh, that looks lovely. Can you see that? I'll put some pics on when I've made them. And the third one is pork escalope. Is it escala? Uh, escalope, isn't it? With mushroom sauce and linguine. Oh, God, that looks amazing too. Can you see that? So I have got three. And let me check. This bag is massive. Right. I'm going to try and do this the best I can. Because obviously, I'll do one ingredient at a time that's got a massive big mushroom in that one. I don't want to take some fresh ingredients out of the bags. So, I'm going to go with... Oh, my word. Gee whiz. So, let's have a look. There's his Yorkshire tea. He's going to be happy. Right. I'm going to have to find some places to put these. Let me see. So, I'll pop them back in the bag as soon as I've finished. We've got two tomatoes for one of them. Those tomatoes look really, really big and juicy. So I'm just going to go one at a time and show you which ones I've got, just so you know. Because I can't, obviously, do a full rundown of each recipe. It'd take me too long. So... They tell you what they're for on the little tabs. I've got little bags, and this one's for the bavette steak. And it's got um, black pepper, uh, green peppercorns, uh, Henderson's relish apple liqueur in the little tubs. I'll pop them behind me once I've read them out. There won't be an order of which one's for which because I'm just taking them out as, as I get them out. Uh, this one's for the pork escalope, uh, apple liqueur, and that looks like some kind of powder it'll be cornbread or something for i can't read it because it's underneath there it'll be for because it's like a crispy one so pop that down this one's for the venison casserole so we've got red wine can you see they're in their little bags um apple liqueur henderson's relish again and ground nutmeg wow loads of stuff loads of loads in the box the lemon Breadcrumbs. That'll be again for doing the. I'm just checking that's on that. Yeah, that'll be for doing the um, the park. <laughs> if Rob was up here, he'd be laughing. Katie, are you sure this is not for your box next week? <laughs> Courgette. No. <laughs> Don't worry, I do know what things are. It's not cucumber. It's courgette. <laughs> Um, this one's again for the past. They've all got little labels on, so you know which one's for which. Um, fresh sage. Very nice. I love fresh ingredients. We are a bit of a, you know, we're a bit food snobs. I'm not going to lie. Um, we do like nice stuff. Rob likes cooking. He doesn't like cooking with rubbish stuff. Tells me this all the time. There's green beans here. And they're just loose in the bag. A couple of the bags have got a little bit wet, but that's because there's a big bag of meat down there. You won't have heard of it um, because it is brand new out. It's not been out very long, I think a month maybe. Uh, but when I start looking for boxes, especially beauty related ones, I come across things um, and this is what I found and it was like half price. I thought, well, I'm going to go with that and try that. So there's some garlic cloves. 
running out of space. <laughs> There's a bag here with, um, oh, they've got more garlic cloves in it, shallot, um, one normal onion, one red onion. They're all very fresh. I'll put the garlic clove back in that bag. I'm going to make one tonight. Yeah, I do. Um, I'll, I'll pop it in the link below after we're finished. Oh, no, that's just a bit of paper. And um, just a bit more paper. We've got two potatoes. Do you know I've told Rob once I've finished with this, he has to come back down. Oh, there's another big mushroom. I'm going to get this one out to show you just how good and big and good quality they are. Look at that. The size of my hand, that. It's massive. So, I mean, you can tell straight away the ingredient quality is there, definitely. You can't get them that big in the supermarket. Oh, some more tomatoes. They, these are vine ones. Oops. You see? They're good quality. You can tell when they're a bit more orange, the better ones. Rob tells me these things. I don't know these things. He tells me. Is that an egg? Yeah. I like the way they've done that, actually, because it, it's in bubble wrap. And the, there's two little cups and they're sealed. I'll be careful with that one. Put it on the side. We've got um, fresh rosemary. Um... Fresh thyme, again it tells you on the bags what they're for, the little labels. And I can leave that now. Just let me just quickly pop some of these back in here. I can make some space to get the meat out. Right. Wow. <laughs> this is seriously, seriously heavy. Alright, let me open it. We did actually choose the prawns on this box, but because we're in a remote area, the guy phoned me and he said, and he was really nice, I had to chat with him on the phone, it was on Joel's birthday, he explained to me, obviously prawns are a tricky thing, you need to make sure that they come overnight, even though they come in these massive wool bags, can you see just there, let's move my camera over back, they uh, obviously freeze them, and there's like, look, there's so much in here, it's unbelievable. Absolutely tons. Right. If I get food all over my bed, I'm going to be in trouble, Anna. <laughs> wow. Like, wow. <laughs> Can you see that? There is so much in this box. Wow. I'm really quite impressed. <laughs> Beef gravy. They're all decent makes as well. And they're all, I presume, a lot of these are like artisan. Uh, another beef gravy, so there's two of. Two ready-baked jacket potatoes. Uh, banisters. And they've got these little ice pack things. And they don't leak. Keep everything cold. There's the uh, pork. Oh, hang on. Hiding piece of bacon. This is amazing. It's probably one of the best quality ones I've seen. I'm going to try so I don't have to get them. Venison sausages. Can you see how they're packed? Uh, hold on. Bavet steak. And it says on it, it says uh, Lister's home reared. Wow. That's good quality meat, that as well. Um, <laughs> let's try and show you what I haven't showed you already because that's fresh linguine so you've got a fresh one there and we've got um, two single creams they are Longley Farm this is this is like I see, I see a lot of boxes I buy a lot of boxes it's not just ones that we review this is um, quite high quality compared to the other ones I've seen and I'm not just going to say that because I have paid for it um, Bavette Steak Butter it comes with all the little things. The pork scallop butter. Venison casserole butter. So it's got the exact amount of ingredients. You don't have to add anything to it. Um, and lastly, there is, I think this is the cab uh, casserole cabbage. Oh my God, it comes made up. Can you see? I don't want to get anything out of the bags. Um, and then it's got the red currant jelly and whole grain mustard for the pork 
scallop that is and that's for the venison casserole and they're in like little ready made up i absolutely absolutely love pickled red cabbage i'm a weirdo i do absolutely genuinely love it it's one of my favorite things it reminds me of sauerkraut as well um what can i say i'm uh i'm quite impressed with that as you can see on the, on the behind me my bed is covered in food let's send mr wilkes up to come and bring it up um, I'm really impressed. It, as I said, it is £39 full price, but the code makes it £19.50. Uh, £19.50 for all of that um, is really, really good for what you've got in there. It is very good. Um, just to try it. Do you know, obviously with the um, the Gusto and the Hello Fresh, um, they're similar type prices because I've, I have used to have Gusto every single week, three uh, meals a week. And Rob used to obviously make them. We used to get them delivered once we, you know, I was out at work as well. So it was quite, it's one of those things where everything's there in the fridge. You don't have to think about cooking. You don't have to think about going and getting ingredients, looking online, seeing what you need to get, extras, anything like that. It's all in there. And honestly, I am quite impressed. I didn't know what to expect for them. Um, I did know, um, obviously, how it works because I've had the, the type of boxes before. Like, it tells you the cooking times and things like that on the card. Um, these ones are much, much more in detail than other cards I've seen. I mean, for example, it tells you the exact amount of ingredients. It tells you the suppliers on there. That's something that I've never had. It also tells you how many calories, um, how much fat, saturates, protein, carbs, everything per serving. Um, and it tells you the only things that you need is, um, well, we do use that. It says uh, from your cupboard, like things that you'll need to add to it. Or, uh, oil, Yorkshire rapeseed, if you have it, we do. We only use cold pressed as well. Um, again, we are a bit food snobby in this house. We don't, I don't do ready meals and stuff. I like proper food. Um, salt and black pepper. Um, and again here, rapeseed oil, salt and pepper, milk. Um, and the same on that one. So the only things you need is salt, pepper, milk and oil. Uh, yeah, I'm starving now looking at this. Um, so I'm going to pack this away and I'm going to send the man of the house up to come and collect it so we can go and put it in the fridge. Uh, I can tell you now by looking at the quality of the meat, he's going to be very impressed with that. He knows his food inside and out. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Um, it's probably one of the reasons I'm with him because he cooks like a god. So there you go. <laughs> I can't cook. He can. I mean, it's a perfect relationship, right? Um, so I'll pop the code in the bottom. I'll, I'll go and get it now off their website. But um, yeah, I'm pretty made up with that. Yeah definitely recommend you trying it for £19.50 um, I'm not sure about delivery dates because they're different where you live so you need to uh, I'll put the website details under here um, when I finish this video but you need to go on and it'll tell you what days they deliver to your area because I think mine was uh, Wednesday and Friday which is obviously Wednesday today I've ordered it for so uh, oh yeah Becky we used to do it all the time it's just really really good and if you like nice food there's such a variation as well because there's different ones um, so I mean you can see there uh, pork, uh, sorry, um, Kinsley Park smoked trout chowder, sizzling beef stir fry, superfood baked egg muffins. Oh, they look nice. S uh, pork sausage told in the hole. We like told in the hole. Spiced lamb skewers, um, brill and king prawn Thai fish cakes, chicken curry and wild rice, um, pork scallop with silver anchovy and lemon crust. They look amazing. I mean, I did get to the point where I was fed up with gusto as well because obviously, you know, it does get to the point where it's very repetitive and even after it, because we had it for, I think, six months um, every week and then eventually after a couple of months, they then repeat and you're like, right, okay, I need a break from it now. I tried HelloFresh, wasn't as impressed with them. Um, a couple of the girls on the, in fact, a couple of the admins had HelloFresh and had boxes received damage. Gemma had one, um, there was loads of stuff missing from it. And um, she contacted them and all they said was, oh, you'll have to go and buy it. Didn't offer her money back, nothing. I don't know if you remember, she did a video because she was not happy at all. Um, but from what I can say, there's everything in there. Obviously, there is stuff missing, I'll let you know, but. From what I can see, there's plenty of stuff. So, um, so much cheaper in the long run. Hubby thinks he's the new Gordon Ramsay. That's not a bad thing. Just let him think that he is, Becky, because if he thinks that, he's going to cook for you all the time. <laughs> Don't ever put them down when a man's in the kitchen, yeah? Just let him do the thing. If you have to uh, clean up the mess after, as I do, I just wait and then just clear it up because I'm eating amazing food, so I don't care. Uh, 
<laughs> right, I'm going to go, ladies, because I'm going to get all this in the fridge so it stays fresh. Um, thank you very much for watching. I'll pop the code down and I'll pop the um, website down there. Okay, bye-bye for now.